Hi, and welcome to a brand new video of the Target Individual Program, Target Individual Experience. So, am I targeting today? Let me tell you. Um, hacking into my uh, network. Um, I usually I recently subscribed to a VPN. Right, and um, so now uh, every um, uh, every country that I uh, log into, in terms of uh, you know a VPN kind of uh, routes your uh, your IP address. Not really routes your IP address, but it uses the IP address of devices in other countries. So um, last night I was uh, I was logging I was on um, another country and they couldn't uh, you know they they didn't know you know the IP address so for a good uh, cup about maybe half an hour or so it wasn't they weren't honking their horns there was no police sirens when I go into certain sites and stuff like that and then they shut off my internet okay and then when they shut off my internet uh, you know when the internet finally came back on I guess they had uh, hacked into you know were able to hack in, um, hacked into the computer again so I was like okay whatever my, my web browsing uh, then today uh, Pam texts me uh, she called me around 11 Minister 12, something like that, um, to tell me that her internet is not working because the kids couldn't get on the internet to, you know, attend their class. Now, my son Ethan, this week he has finals. And I'm saying to myself, well, why didn't she just call Optimum? You know, why didn't she call Optimum? You know, and then the fact that she calls me at uh, you know, Minister 12 to tell me that her, you know, so I said to her, I said, okay, well, then call Optimum. So she's like, okay, when I get a break now, and when she goes to lunch, you know, she goes to lunch. So I called her back and I said, okay, did you call Optimum? No, I didn't call Optimum, what have you. So, you know, of course, I mean, the, the day was going almost over, and I was like, okay, do you want me to call Optimum? Now, this morning, you know, it was very quiet, you know, a couple of sirens here and there. But I noticed that when I was on the phone with Optimum, um, I was speaking to a customer service rep, who was a woman, and she kept doing this when she kept talking to me. Because I said to her, hey, you know, the, our internet is not, and I have to say our because, again, I'm calling on Pam's behalf, so I don't want to let them know that I'm calling from, you know. So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, they do this from time to time because, again, they're trying to, uh, you know, like like for example, I got a. I told her I would watch the kids while she go to a wedding in Vegas, but I have to watch the kids in her house. So, the reason why they doing that, and the reason why they did what they did today, was because again, you know, whatever um, they're doing to try to get uh, again some, you know, to be able to like. Uh, warrantless tapping uh, I should say uh, you know what I'm saying so to, 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 to be able to to do that so I'm like okay whatever so I'm talking to this lady and I let her explain I said hey you know they, they she they, you know they said that um, that uh, someone uh, downloaded uh, a movie illegally which was not true which was not true because she was like oh let me see and then she goes um uh, yeah, it looks like there's a hole, and then she kept, as she kept talking to me, she kept going. <laughs> so, I remember uh, my ex uh, that I speak to who live in in Atlanta. She would do that to me, even when I spoke to her today about it. I said, you know, I said it's really weird because Pam. Well, let me let me finish the story first. So anyway, so I started doing the same thing back to her, and all of a sudden she stopped doing it. All right, so I, she said she's going to transfer me to some department where they'll take care of it. So I spoke to the uh, uh, person in the technical department or the, the, the department that is um, supposed to get something about copyright, what have you. 
So he says to me, he says, your internet is working fine. You know, he's like, they were, you don't have a copyright issue, you know, of anything like that. Your internet is working fine. So my thing is, okay, why did they shut off her internet? Why did they do that? Right? And then on top of that, uh, you know, she didn't even call, <clears throat> you know, the cable company when she knows that our son and our daughter have school. And even when she told me she was going to call, I call her back uh, after one to ask her, did she call? And she's like, no. And she was so nonchalant about it. No, I didn't call. Um, you know, I got stuff I got to do, what have you. And I'm like, it takes you five, it takes you five minutes to call. I, I was on the phone with them for five minutes and that was it. All right. So then, um, I, I spoke to my ex and we were talking and I was like, you know, it's really weird that Pam calling me, texting me about the internet working. Like she couldn't call, uh, Optimum. She couldn't call them to say, hey, internet's not working and such and such, you know? So, and she didn't, she didn't want to do it. It's like, she wanted me to do it. She know, she know, because again, it was often since this morning. We have two kids. My daughter is, is going to be eight. My son is 12. They're both in school. Okay. So why didn't she call? But of course they wanted me to call. And and I was like, okay, so I called them. And as soon as I got off the phone with Optimum, all of a sudden, for 10 minutes straight, police, uh, police sirens, ambulances, helicopters were just going off. So I was calling my, I called my ex and I said, you hear this stuff? You hear this going on behind me? And she was like, yeah. I said, like, I can't believe this, you know? So I explained to what happened. And she was like, you know, that's that's kind of weird because, you know, she's letting our children miss a day of school. Now, end of the funny thing is, <laughs> she is going on vacation, right? She got a wedding to go to in Vegas. Then uh, she says she's going to uh, take the kids to her mother in Texas. So she asked me to watch the kids while she came out from Vegas. I said, well, why don't you just take the kids to Vegas? You know? So I said, okay, when is Vegas? So she was like, I said, how many days? She's like, from Friday to Sunday. So I said, okay, you know. So you're back on Sunday. She's like, well, no, I don't know. I, I may have a layover. So let's say Monday. And I'm just like, well, which one is it? So I said to her, well, why don't you just take the kids to Texas and then go to Vegas? Because you got to go back to Texas anyway for three weeks, you said. Right. So you hear the sirens now because they have been. And I'm, I, you know, like I said, I studied this program. Right. So I, I was just waiting to see what they're going to do during the day and how they're going to use Pam again to, to in, in my targeting. So anyway, so she calls me, all right, this is Pam now, calls me telling me that, oh, I'm leaving work and such and such and blah, 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 all right? Uh, then she calls me again because uh, my son's phone was acting up and uh, I spoke to T-Mobile about his phone and they were like, well, you know, take it to uh, the T-Mobile store and they'll get a new SIM card. She calls me, she's like, well, you know, they can't, give him a new sim card i'm like why not because the network don't support uh the device here i'm like how do you mean the network don't support the device that he has he has he's been using he had this phone for over a year now and he's been using it on the t-mobile network i'm sorry not t-mobile on the boost mobile network right the boost mobile network so how come all of a sudden now they can't give him a new sim card Right, because he has the Galaxy S8. Okay, so, anyways, uh, so I'm just like, okay, what's going on? So I call the kids, and then I call her back, and then she's like, oh, I gotta go because it's a phone call I've been waiting for all of a sudden. I'm just like, wait, hold up, hold up. So you've been calling me all day, and because I fixed your problems, so and all of a sudden you you're ignoring me now, you know? <laughs> and I'm like, oh. Okay, that's what it's going to be. Uh, then, again, there with the fireworks. You know, when she called me earlier today, after we hanged up the phone, police sirens. 
when she called me back from the um, Booth Mobile store, uh, hang up the phone again, police sirens and fireworks. Okay, and now you guys can hear as I'm doing this video, you hear the, uh, the, the police sirens. Okay, so what it is, I guess the TI is just that they want to continue to target you and manipulate you into silence. Right, if you look up across the persuasion program, they're trying to silence you on what you are and what they're doing to you. And they will use and manipulate whoever around you. Okay. Like for example, in my house today, using my niece. She's wearing she has her hair out and she was wearing uh, what was it, a gray shirt. And every time I come out of my bedroom, she comes into the hallway. First they get, again we they they either gonna use my nephew son and being that uh, my niece's daughter is here, along with my niece, they're using her. Okay, because uh, my nephew said I haven't seen him all day. So they're using her, you know. And uh, I'm telling you, it's, it is like they won't stop. Okay, remote no monitoring today, yesterday, constant. Last night I forgot to upload the two videos, but and I probably uploaded before I upload this. But, you know, going on one o'clock at night and all of a sudden they just start sh shooting up fireworks and m80s i mean it was ridiculous now you hear when you hear now helicopters right again all night last night all day today or is that a plane it's a, it's, it's a low flying plane that's what that is that helicopter is a plane all right so like I said again, they will continue to do this and over and over and over. Uh, again, they started recently, even uh, yet last night and today I was playing um, Roblox with my daughter. We played this game called um, Bloxburg. And I was playing the other night and I think I had accumulated like over $7,000 in, in, in the money because, you know, you, 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 you can need to give you a starter house or you can build it your own house. I was building my own house and I had to work and all this stuff. And I had like 70 something hundred dollars. I went back the next day. It was down to like five something. I was like, wait a minute. What the hell is going on here? So I lost all of that, you know. So anyway, but I figured this, this is them trying to target me and stuff like that. Uh, last night I was playing again with her and after she she got off because uh, she got to go to bed and I continued to play and I was just you know building stuff in the house fixing up her room stuff like that and such and such and this is again this is a game that you know she loves to play it so I'm like okay well you know I'm you know I play it with her because really she doesn't have anybody uh, her age to play with you know she usually play with me the most I mean, she plays with her brother sometimes, and my ex, my fiance, ex fiance, uh, her daughter, she gets on you once in a while, and, and they'll play together, what have you. But um, last night, for the strangest thing, is that when I was uh, buying things for the house in Roblox, I think I had a balance of 400 and something. And it was like the remote no monitoring then it's like whoop whoop no not actually I'm sorry it's not whoop it, they, it was like a very different kind of siren but it was it was like a, a, a really um, continuous uh, sound and it was very high pitch and then today again with the number four they started you know every time the number four uh, pops up or uh, or somebody's on, on a video saying the number four again they started with the sirens so I'm figuring, well, maybe they're trying to, you know, also send me some of a message about, again, stealing uh, my money. So it's a constant thing that they do from time to time. They haven't done it in a couple of weeks, but they're back to that again. So, you know, it is what it is, but I'll continue to observe uh, what's going on, observe what it is that they're doing, how they're using the people against me. And before I forget, too, and I was speaking to my ex-fiance like I told you earlier you know discussing the fact that you know I had to call Optimum when Pam could have done it earlier in the morning and the kids could have could have had the internet access you know so I had to do it right which is around after, almost after school was over right so I was talking to her and 
and I was saying something about it, and I said the word up, and as soon as I said the word up, you know, she started also, and I caught that, you know, but I didn't say anything, you know, because it isn't the first time she, she's done it also, but I'm figuring, you know, this is the, uh, her being microwave, you know, putting the things that are in, into her mind, because it's like trigger words, certain trigger words, I got to talk about words, and I really got to um, sit down and, and, and do a presentation of certain words and what they do, right? So anything, if you're a TI and if you're trying to be more positive, you know, so when, whenever you hear words like level up or you hear words like upgrade or you hear words like, um, you know, any positivity, right? And, and so like, let's say if, you, if you're playing a game and you're winning and you, you know, and the game involves like money, okay? So if you if you play for a long time and you accumulate a certain you know a lot of money within the game, they'll start with the sirens, <laughs> you know, and all this stuff, you know, trying to send you some bullet message about, you know, if you if you win any money, if you if you get any money, it, you know, they're gonna do this and it's all negative. You hear the M eighty? This went off. <laughs> okay. So again, this is what they do: actively monitoring, actively surveilling, remote neural monitoring. They don't stop. And like I said, when I do these videos and I point out these things that's happening, and you see, it only happened one time, that M80. It wasn't a continuous thing. So just to let you know that they're listening, and when I say certain words, or whether I say it, whether it's on a video or on a show, they're, they're quick to react. And this is AI, right? So this is, this is AI-driven in terms of how quickly they react in real time, right? So the AI has been... Uh, the source code is written for certain things, so certain words, so they, they react right away fast. Sometimes at the end of the day, I have people outside just waiting, you know, for, for me to say certain things or certain things to be said. Okay, so, but yeah, you know, I was kind of, you know, I didn't want to mention, I didn't want to say to her, you know, um, Pam, you know, it, the kids have class today. You could have taken five minutes out of your morning to call Optima and to say, hey, you know, uh, we have no internet, right? So, and, and, and then she want to act as if uh, she cared about the kid's uh, education, okay? Because I said that, I said, why don't you take the kids with you to Texas and then fly to Las Vegas? She's like, well, but the kids have three days left. They would have uh, three days left of school if I do that. And I'm like, okay, that's three days, the end of the school. You know, how, how many days this, they've, they've missed class because they're up late at night and they're, you know, they don't go to bed, you know, I call Alyssa sleeping all day, Ethan is sleeping all day. You know, the babysitter's telling me, oh, you know, they're not listening and they're not doing their work and all this stuff. Like, I know it's hard. I know it's hard, you know, well, uh, you know, but it didn't have to be. That's, that's her choice. She made that choice when she said that. She wanted to try being a single parent not me okay so you know and I don't mind you know except for the last time what happened the last time and I'm just like you know I have to apologize for her about that and then she apologized to me and this, this thing with her is that the word I'm sorry never come out of her mouth unless I point it out to her or if I apologize about something then she'll apologize but she's never come to me and said, hey, you know what? What I did, I was wrong. I can do that. I was going to say, listen, you know what? I shouldn't have said this. I'm sorry about that. You know, because I had to, again, this is what therapy does. Therapy helps you to understand certain things and realize certain things and allow you to grow, right? So you can be a better person. You can be a better uh, father, a better friend. A better husband, a better wife, a better sister, you know, mother, 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 father. This is why therapy is so important. And you know, for for you to have to not uh, uh, when somebody does something wrong and then they don't come and apologize, okay? But you have to point out certain things to them, and then they're like, okay, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. You know, come on. You know, we're not in high school. We're not in college. We're not young. I mean, I'm, when I say young, we're not younger. You know, twenties. You know, in our late teens. 
you know, we're grown adults. So that's all I got to say. <laughs>